And hello, peeps. It's your boy Drew101997 here. First time I've done that in a while. Alongside with. Duke R2000. And 19. That's two. Uh. Well, well, we've already talked about your name long enough. Alright. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Ow, he pinched me. Not. Uh. We're gonna be doing. And I know it's a little late, but I just decided I want to do this. We're gonna do a review of the Suicide Squad movie. Sp and we're gonna talk about spoilers. So if you, I, I assumed everyone's seen it by now. It, it's been out for a while. Uh, Luke, why don't you start us off with what you thought about the movie? Why I turned the volume down? Um, <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good movie. Um, if I had to rate it one out of ten, I'd probably rate it like an eight point five or a nine. Um, I didn't like the way they did kill a croc. They hold, on, hold, on, hold on, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't rush it. I don't see why everyone hated the movie. I mean, some of the characters were a little fishy. Ha, no pun intended for Killer Croc there. But overall, I really enjoyed it too. Um, so now, let's, so now we'll talk about the character. Who's your favorite character? Um, that's a pretty tough question. But uh, I'd probably have to say Harley Quinn. I think she did a pretty good job as a uh, Harley Quinn. She was pretty hot too, so. <laughs> I'm sure that's why you liked her. Uh, nothing against Harley Quinn. I liked her. She was my second favorite actor in the movie. Uh, excuse me, Ma. Deadshot was really cool to me. Will Shot did a, a perfecto job on it. What? Will Shot? I said Deadshot. Did I say, did I say Will Shot? That's his nickname, guys. Will Shot. We'll get it going. Woo! Will Shot. I like that. It's actually kind of catchy now. Will Shot. That sounds cooler than Deadshot sometimes. Uh, oh, but he did a good job. I like the relationship he had with his daughter and how his daughter came first over money and the crime. Uh, especially that scene where Batman dropped down and he had to choose between shooting his daughter and killing Batman or getting arrested by Batman. And uh, he, cho he chose to get arrested by Batman, which was pretty ballsy, if I might say. Now, you tell me you would kill your daughter instead of being arrested? Well, he just didn't want to see his daughter, you know, see him kill people. You know, I think... Off record, I, I think Deadshot could have killed Batman right there. Mm, debatable. That's that's a whole different conversation. Uh, Amanda Waller, great, great, great performance by whoever played her. I don't know who played her. I don't know her name, but whoever she did deserves a million dollars. She did a. She do. Whatever <laughs> she did. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Hey, get snappy with me. I will punch you in your jejum. Do it. No. Anywho, oh my dick! <laughs> Ow, you cock coal. Anywho, what would you rate the movie uh, from one to ten? About a seven, maybe an eight. Ew, pup, stop! No, Harley, come on, girl. That's our dog licking the microphone. I don't know if you guys heard that lick. She's licking my face. She eats poop. I don't like it. Come on, girl. <laughs> no, girl, we're trying to do a movie review. <laughs> come on, go lay down. There Good girl. Go. Oh, no, yeah. it, we'll just have to do it with her in our face, so. If you hear any loud breathing or licking, it's a it's a dog, not us. We're not weird. All the time. Um, let's talk about some of the other characters. Killer Croc was a piece of shit. Terrible, terrible imagination of the character Killer Croc. What the fuck was that? Yo, listen here, Shorty. What the- what? For what, he didn't even have a fucking tail. Explain that. How are you gonna do a crocodile guy without a fucking tail? Yeah, it, it just kind of looked like me. They made him like a, a big, strong guy who just got covered in scales. It, it kind of looked like they were trying to do like the Jamie Foxx thing in Amazing Spider-Man 2, where it did not look good at all. I think they kind of made it like a little racist. Um, you know, real. You know, I'm not gonna really get into. No, that. I, no, I think you're on the right track here. I think they're trying to spray, expand the character since they. If they would have done who's who, the black spider guy? Mm -hmm. Is that his name? He's an African American character. He's a cool character. He's very. Cool they should have put him in there if they're going to make it. A, if they wanted a more diverse team than Killer Croc. I mean, Killer Croc, he talks all deep like that, but he doesn't use slang words. He doesn't wear street clothes. He wears tore up pants like the Hulk would wear, because he has got a fucking tail, and he's taller than everybody else. I mean, I mean, they could just use different characters instead of that. Um, but you know what? I don't, I don't know. And Killer Croc's not even in this Suicide Squad. It's, um, King Shark. Is it Killer Shark or King Shark? I think it's King Shark. 
but in the Flash show, if you watch the Flash show, they did do King Shark. I mean, he didn't look terrible, but I mean, he wasn't great. And they could have just used that. I mean, he looked all right, you know. But they, they just made Killer Croc look like a prison guy that, that got buff a little bit. And his boobs hang out. And he talked like a black guy. Yeah. Diablo. Really cool character. I really liked him. I didn't know anything about him going into the movie. Um, I didn't know who he was, what his powers were. But I'm glad I've seen this movie because I really like Diablo now. I don't know if it's anything like he is in the comic books or who the hell he is. But uh, let's just say shit got real. Um, the Diablo character, <laughs> it was kind of funny to me because, like, um, I was asking my dad about it. Like, I didn't really know who he was either. And he's like, yeah, he can, like, enhance powers from the devil. And I was like, okay, so he could have picked, like, when he when he fought the dude, the girl, the witch, the, the enchantress or the witchress? Enchantress. She, he was fighting her brother. Which, which was a fucking stupid idea or character for the villain. <laughs> but uh, he was fighting her brother. And he turned into, like, a Tiki Torch, dude. Like, he could have picked some cool-looking demon dude, if you think. And he picked a Tiki I mean, it was fine, but... Another thing that was kind of weird is, um... Like, he was, like, burning through his heart, because he has, like, fire powers, obviously. If you didn't see it, um... He, so he was, like, burning through this dude's heart. And... As he was doing it, they were like, let's set the bomb! And, like... So he was literally burning him from the inside out. And then he, he got beat, he died. Because a bomb blew him up instead. Which was kind of weird, but... It's whatever. Katana just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, I feel like she wasn't needed, really. Yeah, she just showed up out of nowhere. She's like, and the guy's like, oh, she's got a sword that traps souls, and her husband's soul's trapped in it. She talks to him all the time. Like, it was, like I didn't really need her. We didn't need her. She didn't do anything, really. I mean, yeah, her sh sword stopped the villain, but, I mean, we didn't really need her at all. Uh, Captain Boomerang was actually kind of, kind of interesting. I mean, the... I don't think they. I think they should have left the unicorn thing out. That just reminded me of Deadpool, of how if Deadpool encountered him, he'd just steal a unicorn and jerk off with it. I mean, uh, uh, the captain guy of the Suicide Squad. I didn't mind him. I like how he had to keep secrets from everybody. Um, Flag was the the guy's name. Not Flag. 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 Captain Flag or something. Like that. But um, I didn't really like Captain Boomerang. I don't think they did him right. He he didn't really do anything either. He had a remote control boomerang that seen the villain. Yeah, he got killed in three seconds with so the boomerang, though. Yeah. That, oh, that one guy, the pilot guy, blew up right away. They didn't think that they had bombs and Captain Boomerang made him the wrong way. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I guess, but um, that was pretty cool. I mean, that was smart that he did that. He's like, oh, yeah, these things can't be real. And he let him go up there and he blew his head off. But I don't know, like, him, when him and Deadshot are both in the Suicide Squad, they always bump heads over who's the leader. I mean, but in this case, I mean, I guess Flag was the leader, so I mean, eh. I didn't really like Boomerang too much. Uh, the the whole villain idea was stupid. Uh, the whole Enchantress thing, didn't really believe it. Uh, I didn't like it. Uh, the Joker. I had actually seen this article. This person is suing Warner Brothers for l false advertisement. Because if you watch the trailers. The Joker's in every single one of the trailers, and he's- They basically showed all of his scenes in the trailer. I mean, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen the Joker scenes. I mean, they didn't really hide nothing from you. But this dude's suing Warner Brothers for false advertisements of the Joker. Because he really wasn't in the movie. I mean, he broke- He broke Harley out of the Suicide Squad. To crash a plane. And then just showed flashbacks with him. Uh, they didn't really show a whole lot of him. Which, I felt, instead of doing the Enchantress story, that they made the Joker the main bad guy. And how he wants to kill everyone in the Suicide Squad because they rooted Harley Quinn. I actually think that the Joker was more crazy for Harley Quinn than Harley Quinn is crazy for the Joker in this. Um, I guess I could agree with that, but, um, what I heard was from the comic books that the reason Harley Quinn was in the Suicide Squad is because her and Joker started fighting. So the whole thing where she got, like, trying to chase after him and trying to get out was kind of weird to me. But, um... It was okay. I didn't like the way they did Joker. I think the guy that played him did a pretty good job. But, like, the whole, like, hip-hop gangster metal teeth and weird clothes is kind of... I didn't really like it. But, I mean, it was a pretty cool, pretty cool movie, uh, if I do say so. So... Alright, Dukes, we got about a minute left in the video. Another shout-out for how much time we got left. Uh, did you like this movie better than Batman v Superman? Definitely. It's the best DC movie I've seen in a while. Well, that's saying a lot. Um, I think... 
I think the best DC movie still is the second Batman or the Dark Knight trilogy, one with the Joker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't like Man of Steel at all. I thought that was a god awful movie. And how Superman had to kill Zod. Uh, Batman and Superman, I liked, I liked Batman in it. They nailed Batman. I just don't like the guy that put Superman. Uh, for one, he's British in real life. Superman's not British. Uh, no offense to British people. But, uh, you know, I, I just hope that they do the casting better. Uh, but, you know, this is the end of the video, I guess. Uh, if you don't really like what we had to say, it's just our opinions. Don't, get, don't throw a titty fit. Uh, I am a Marvel fan. I know. But I, I like Suicide Squad movie, and I like Batman v Superman. So, I mean, they're on the right track, I guess. I mean, Luke, any final words? Peace out. If you didn't like